Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you this makeup trend where makeup is look like skin. So first I'm gonna start by applying my lip moisturizer and then I'm gonna go for the most natural looking eyebrows just by brushing my eyebrows out using my NYX gel and then I'm gonna leave it to dry while I will do the rest of my face. And to conceal my dark circles, I'm going to use this LA orange color corrector. I'm going to just add it to the circles only. And then I'm going to pat it with a damp sponge. And just make sure you only damp it. We don't want to swipe it. Then I'm going to use my ELF camo concealer just to add a dot to correct more. I'm gonna just pat it with a brush only where I applied my orange concealer. As you can see, doing this technique created like a peach color corrector, which is more natural. And now the time for concealer. I'm going to use this Catrice concealer and make sure you use a small amount. Less is more because we want to look very natural. Then I'm gonna apply my cream brush and this one by Root. It's a very nice color and I like the way it blends. For a natural looking bronzing, I like to use a darker shade of my foundation and this one by L'Oreal, the Tinted Serum, it gives a very nice finish. Then to highlight I'm going to use my Milani concealer and also I like this step because it will blend my blusher and bronzer. Lately I like to use fixed powder to set my under eyes and the rest of my face. 
I like the effect of uh, using it because it's more softer and I like how it makes my under eyes blurred. For my under eyes, I'm gonna use a lighter color and then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my same shade. And as you can see by doing this, I didn't need to add any foundation, so the look will be more natural and more dewy. For a bronzer, I'm gonna use this Forever 52. I like the color because it's very warm and it's natural. And to add a hint of doing this, I'm gonna use this balm highlighter merry luminizer it's very nice and as you can see the blusher is baking underneath for more highlight i'm gonna add this maybelline loose powder just to highlight my under eyes and also to blend everything together Then using the same brush, I'm gonna blend it all, and this way it will all look seamless. Now my brows are dry, I'm gonna use this pencil, and it's very thin. Then I'm gonna draw like a hair strokes only to make it look natural.
I'm gonna go for a simple eye makeup by using this brown eye pencil by Makeup Revolution. I like to use it because it's very nice for my sensitive eyes. Then I'm gonna blend around it with a brown eyeshadow from Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna deepen my crease using a very natural bronzy brown from the same palette. Now I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with a beige color, just any beige color. As a tip, you can clean around your eyeliner with the same beige color. Then I'm going to add a highlighter to my inner corner. For mascara, I like to use this Maybelline mascara. It's just amazing because I don't have like thick lashes or long ones. So I very much recommend it for you guys to try it. For a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury pencils, I like to use this pencil by Mix Factor. It's very nice. I like to use the brown and also I have the spice one. They're both perfect. So I'm going to line my lips to add like contour and then I'm going to use my Essence Matte Lipstick. For an elongated eyes, I like to use this brown gel just to extend the inner corner. For final step, use any sponge just to clean around your face and just to blend everything together. And that's the final look i hope you guys like it please don't forget to subscribe and like and share thank you so much see you next time bye